going on guys? It's Wayne here. Today we'll be taking a look at the MPER formula to figure out how much time do we have until we hit our financial goal. Um, so we have here two different goals, our FI goal and then our RE goal. So we go to the left here. Um, it says that FI goal is our financial independence goal, which is defined as our annual expenses times 25. Now this is uh, per the Trinity study. And our RE goal, which is our retire early goal, will require our annual expenses times 33. This is assuming a 3.33 safety withdrawal rate, and this is a 4%. So this is actually a little bit um, on the conservative side, but I think it's good to, uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. So we have a few different things, um, moving parts here in this formula. First, we have the rate of return. So right now it's at 6%. Um, I like to actually have everything in today's dollars. So now this is actually the real rate of return. So we've heard that the market will go up, you know, 8, 9, 10% on average a year. But after inflation, about 6% should be, should be safe enough. Um, if you don't feel that way, maybe 5%. So actually, once we change this, you see that the year is actually changed. So six, seven, eight, it'll change accordingly. Now, we'll just leave it at six. Our negative annual savings. Um, now this is negative. So we're saving 5,500, which uh, is how much it'll take to max out a Roth IRA in 2017. Our current net worth now this is negative as well now this is um, getting pulled from our net worth charts we're in the personal finance uh, dashboard the the template now this is getting pulled from here since this is the largest value it's going to pull this using H lookup all these values and add it up and then we get our current net worth here make sure that it's negative our goal, which is 400,000. Now, if we change this to say like, I don't know, 50,000, this will change drastically because this is pulling from one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four cells. Now, let's change that back. So, we're actually in the net worth forecast tab of the, the dashboard itself. And we see that the dashboard actually includes this uh, FI information, which also pulls from this sheet. So let's actually go through a live example of the NPR formula. So let's open the formula up. Now it'll kind of walk us through at the rate. Instead of typing 0.06, um, ideally what we want to do is reference a cell. So if that cell changes, the formula changes it makes it a lot cleaner and a lot easier to to make changes rather than going into the formula itself so I'm going to click on the cell reference L19 the rate of return F4 to lock it so now there's dollar signs comma our payment remember this is our annual savings and it has to be negative so negative 5500 F4 to lock comma our present value which is our current net worth negative again lock it with f4 comma future value now this is our fi goal so we're, we want to calculate our fi goal not our eagle if we wanted to calculate our eagle we can click this cell but we want to look at h19 which is 400,000 now the last thing is after we do a comma um, whether we want this to be zero or the end of the period or one beginning of the period so let's put that as the beginning of the period and we have this number which is the same thing here and this is in years because we're looking at annual savings so this is every year and then this six percent return is um for the whole year we can do this not in years but also months if we just 
tweak this a little bit. Now if we just change this to divided by 12, divided by 12, now this is how many months it'll take until we hit this goal, which is going to be estimated around 27 years. Now we can Thanks for joining us, guys, and don't forget to take a look at the Personal Finance Comprehensive Dashboard um, video will be linked up above.